Welcome to the podcast Friday Feels, brought to you by the Office of Counseling and Wellness at Berkeley College. I'm your host and personal counselor, Sarah Nickerson. Join our journey with Berkeley students as they navigate the challenges of the current pandemic with strength, creativity, and wisdom. New episodes released every Friday. Thanks for listening. All right. Well, welcome, Naisha, to Friday Feels. We're so glad to have you today. How are you feeling? I'm fine. How are you? I'm doing well. Um, So usually what we do is we just start out by having the guests tell us a little bit about themselves. So whatever you want to share, we'd be happy to hear. Okay. My name is Naisha Joyner. My major is patient care technician. I am a federal work study student in the wellness and counseling center department. I am also a part of the SGA's North Campus. I am the parliamentarian. Okay. Wow. You sounds like you do a lot of different things on campus. Yeah. I like to try new things. I yeah, love to try awesome. new things. Yeah. When do you graduate? Um, I graduated in, I believe, the fall of 2022. Okay. Woo. You're getting there. Yeah. We're almost there. That's great. Um. So tell me a little bit, like, what has the pandemic been like for you? How are you feeling about um, recent times? Whatever you want to talk about, we'd love to hear. Um, Well, I think this pandemic was good, not in, like, people dying, but it's a good way because it shows you that, you know, there's more to life than just going out and spending money. You know, you can actually Mm -hmm. find hobbies. Like, I learned how to, I just... I recently bought a sewing machine like two years ago and I just oh. recently hooked it up and I'm like, wow, I'm really learning how to, I'm teaching myself how to sew. So That's awesome. That's really cool. What kind of stuff have you been sewing? Um, I'm starting with little stuff like I'm like making a pillow and stuff. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, I had a sewing machine a while back, but honestly, it was so hard. I like I gave up using it and I ended up leaving it I think with my mom it's hard like they're they can be kind of complicated to figure out yeah mine was actually a gift so I'm like I've got nothing else to do so let me just hook up the sewing machine and see how it works you know YouTube has everything (laughs) yeah yeah for sure um so it sounds like you've been finding some hobbies to keep you busy um how how have you been feeling overall um, I've been feeling good, been hanging in there, like, with school and stuff. Because I'm, you know, in the medical field, and the medical field of the school, it's a lot of, you know, labs. You know, they just sent us back to campus to do labs at Woodland Park. Yeah, yeah. I've been juggling, just juggling with my classes. For sure, yeah. Um, And what has you know, recent events been like for you with the Black Lives Matter movement? How have you been feeling about that? What has that looked like? I feel like with the Black Lives Matter movement, I feel like the murder of George Floyd really changed a lot of things. Yeah. You know, especially like what, you know, Ahmaud Berry and Breonna Taylor and Vanessa Gillian. Um, mm. I feel like with the George Floyd case, I feel like it changed, it sparked, sparked a lot of things for the Black Lives Matter movement. Like, this the the murder of George Floyd really showed us really shows that you know blacks are really bring, being oppressed and yeah. all and um I think that with the protests and the looting and you know they um they took down statues like of Christopher yeah. Christopher Columbus mm. and all of that I think that that's really it's really showing us that you know. Blacks, we have a voice, and it's time that we be heard. We've been oppressed for years, ever since slavery. Yeah. It's time that y'all hear our voices. Yeah, absolutely. I'm sure. What do you feel like for you has been um, like a way that you've been speaking up or protesting, or, or what's been helpful to you during this time? I think that the protest has been helpful during this time. I think that. You know, with protesting and putting up signs, I think that it's a good way to make your voices be heard, to show that, you know, don't be silenced about this. We've been silenced for too long now and nobody is not hearing us out. So now that, you know, we protesting and we 
putting up signs, you know, and we uh, we making our voices be known, our presence be heard that we're tired of feeling this way. All our, all for generations after generations, Blacks have been oppressed and we're just tired of feeling like, you know, we've, you know, like whites don't appreciate us or yeah, yeah. like minorities don't get appreciated. Mm, yeah, for sure. Um, what has it been like for you? Like, have you, has it been a lot to um, like process with everything being in the news? Uh, yeah, it been- has. Cause it's like, like first it was, you know, like people dying from COVID, mm-hmm. you know? So that was really a big shock to hear like George Floyd get murdered by the police. And then they had videos and stuff mm-hmm. that came as a shocker. Cause we like, it's in the middle of COVID. Like really? What have you been doing to take care of yourself? Um, I've been, I actually like been getting some exercising. I download like an exercise app on my phone. So I've just been using that because, you know, self-care and being healthy, especially during COVID is very important. Yeah. It's very important to be healthy and remain healthy, you know, uh, to have a good immune system and everything. It's very important especially during this time. Yeah, absolutely. Studies have definitely shown that, you know, taking care of your stress levels can help to take care of your health and yeah. everything going on between, you know, the pandemic and, you know, it's, it's good that you're finding a way to be able to take care of yourself. That's true. And then I, I, I believe, like, I like the fact that Berkeley, you know, extends that, you know, um, that handout of, you know, you know, we're here for you if you need help with anything like the counseling and they have, they still like have the counseling and wellness center. You can call somebody to speak to and everything. So I really appreciate that too as well. Yeah. What do you feel like has been um, like something that has been grounding you or, or helping you to feel balanced? I would have to say time. I'm learning how to, I'm not really a time management person, but during the COVID, I've learned how to manage my time, like have a set time. Like I know that I want to finish my work at least before Saturday or at least before Sunday. So I try to, you know, balance it out. Like one day do this class, then the next day do this class, then another day do another class. So I try to balance it out. Yeah, wow. yeah, just have some time, and, you know, just take my time. I'm not trying to rush. Yeah, having a set schedule for yourself. Yeah. Is there anything that's helped you to feel connected to others or, um, you know, like given you a sense of community during the pandemic and the protests? Um, I know like there are a lot of other students that, you know, are probably going through the same thing, probably way worse. So, you know, I try to, you know, like, like on Yammer, we get to post like, you know, helpful messages on there. So I try to post like motivational messages on there, you know, to help people keep going and everything, you know, because I understand that everybody is going through stuff. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That's great. Using Yammer as like a way to connect with other students. Yeah. Yeah. Connect them together to know that we're here for you. We understand what you're going through and, um, you know, don't feel like nobody is there for you because there's always somebody there. Mm. We're all in this together. You know, yeah. we're all here to help each other. Mm. For sure. Do you feel like, um, like what do you what do you feel like needs to happen for things to really change, both in regards to the pandemic and in regards to the Black Lives Matter movement? I think that this pandemic, I think that, you know, a lot of health stuff, like people are probably going to change the way they eat, probably the way they're dieting, or probably, you know, I think that people are probably going to start, you know, taking better care of themselves, you know, and that's, I think that's the big problem that everybody is, worrying about when the pandemic was going on is that they don't um get to get a chance to take care of themselves like to do self-care you know do meditation do yoga just focus on themselves and i think that that this pandemic is teaching a lot of people you know how to focus on yourself and how to you know take care of your needs you know take care of your body first and then you can be able to help others 
Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of like they say when you're on a plane, like you have to put your own mask on before helping somebody else. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Um, if you were to give like one uh, word of encouragement or resources or support to other students, what would it be? I feel like, um, well, and um, I've been doing, have you ever heard of Brain Break, Brain Break with Diana Georges? Yeah, yeah. I feel like that, that works a lot. So if I would really give a sense of encouragement, I would tell students to try Brain Break because it's very helpful and it's very motivational. I, I literally come in there feeling tired and everything, but then when I come out of there, I feel so relieved, like, yeah. the weight of stress has been lifted off my shoulders. So I will really tell students to try brain break. It's yeah. very helpful. What specifically helps you from that program? Like it, um, she plays like a meditation video. So like you sit there and you relax and it takes you step by step process of your body. And it gives you that sense of imagination. Like you can imagine your body, the relief. Mm. lifting off your body yeah yeah that's so interesting right because like yeah. they say that imagination is like a huge part of healing yeah because our brain can't really differentiate between something that we're imagining and something that's happening in real life so mm. even if you're thinking about sometimes i'll use the example of a lemon like if we had a lemon in front of us right now and we were cutting it open and the juices were going everywhere you can almost taste that like lemon taste in your mouth. Isn't that weird? Yeah, I've actually heard of that before. Yeah. You're not the first person that said that to me before. I've heard of that. Yeah, so that makes sense to me that, you know, using your imagination to maybe get some of that stress off of you is helpful because um, you can kind of, I guess, imagine it being lifted off of you. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's really good. Well, what are your plans post-graduation? What do you want to do with your degree, with your life? I want to become a pediatric nurse. Ooh. I either want to become, I either want to work in a doctor or um, like the children's hospital, like yeah, St. Yeah. Jude's or something. That's great. Um, and do you want to do like a specific type of like work with the kids or just like a general pediatric nurse or just like a general pediatric nurse I've changed my my thing so many times so I'm like I, I really love children I really love babies so I want to stick to this yeah I used great. to be all over the place like what I wanted to do when I got to college yeah well it sounds like you've really figured out your path and are, are working towards that goal which is awesome yeah. I, I like to stick on a path. I don't like to be all over the place. I like to be organized. Yeah, that's good. Well, my very last question for you will be, you know, what gives you a sense of hope? Um, which gives me a sense of hope? Um, which gives me a sense of hope is that I know that even though, how can I put it, like, That even though if I'm trying and never giving up, I know that I will always, you know, overcome, overcome my weakness yeah. as long as I'm like, you know, sticking onto the right path and just keep, you know, keep working hard and, you know, never let my emotions get the best of me, you know, yeah. just keep pushing forward and keep striving. You know, I know there's some, there are going to be times where I want to give up and I don't want to do this no more. But I also have to learn that, you know, as you get older, it's going to get harder. And all you have to do is just keep pushing forward and be able to manage your time. Communicate with people if you're having a hard time. Don't be afraid to ask questions. Don't be afraid to stand out. You know, mm, That's good. That's really good advice. It's hard to keep pushing forward, like, when, when yeah. we're struggling and there's so many different things going on. Especially like now, I understand like it's some some people are you know struggling to keep pushing forward because you know they lost a loved one or they lost a 
they lost a really close friend or something, or they're not, you know, financially stable, then they're having a hard time with school and everything, you know, just keep pushing forward. Yeah. That's great news. I love that. Well, thank you so much for being with us today. I'm, I'm glad that we got to hear your voice and hear what you have to say. No problem. Um, it's a pleasure. Yeah, I'm so excited for you for your future to be a good pediatric nurse. I was in the hospital a lot, actually, my first two years of life. I had to have a bunch of surgeries. And I think oh, if wow. not for my like really good nurses, I probably wouldn't be where I am today. So mm-hmm. I know your work is going to be really special and important. Yeah. Thank you so much. It was an You're honor. You're welcome. Yeah. I hope you have a great rest of your day. You too. Thank you so much. You're welcome. That's all for now. Join us next week for another episode of Friday Feels. Enjoy your weekend and stay safe. Be well.